Hey you guys, it's your girl Janelle Nicole here and welcome back to my channel. Now, listen, I know I've been gone for probably about like what, a month now? Like it's been a minute, but today we're gonna catch up. We're gonna do the things. You guys are gonna come with me today. I have quite a bit to do. Like first and foremost, girl, we gotta get these toes done because my toes, I don't think I have my toes done in two months like it's really 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 ridiculous like my feet are looking like crow's feet like they they scratching like they they scratching me in the middle of the night like i'm glad i don't have a spouse right now because i'll be scratching him up with my toes like that's not okay so i'm gonna get my toes done going to trader joe's today i haven't been to trader joe's in a minute okay right now it's currently like nine something in the morning um i decided to get dressed early because i'm gonna treat myself to now this is gonna sound so crazy because like girl why are you treating yourself to this like ugh. listen i have been eating in the house okay i've been eating in the house i've been cooking in the house i haven't ate out in a minute it's been a little while so Today I decided I wanted to switch up my breakfast and I'm actually going to go eat at McDonald's. <laughs> you want me to leave the door down? Should I just leave? Should I just leave? Listen, listen. I really want their sausage egg McMuffin and y'all know McDonald's breakfast, they don't be playing about their times. Like where I live, I think breakfast is over at 1030. My nail salon opens up at 930. So I'm going to go to McDonald's. I decided last minute I was going to go to McDonald's. So I'm gonna go to McDonald's, switch up my breakfast because I've been eating the same thing every single day. So I'm gonna go there. Um, so yeah, this is my fit for the day. I have this cute little romper on that I got from Shein. Look at the bump, like the bump is bumping, okay? The bump is bumping. Your girl is 21 weeks and my baby boy has been kicking me, okay? He kicks me in the morning and that's when I know it's time to eat, okay? Um, also, Y'all see this? I decided to do like the little self-care jar thing, but I need to go to Dollar Tree to get a jar. Right now, it's just kind of in this sandwich bag. I pulled out two for today. I'll read those when I get home. So today, before I head out, I kind of wanted to, I don't know if I wanted to wear this or if I wanted to do my Chanel, like one of my favorite Chanel perfumes. I can't find it right now. So part of the reason why I'm not gonna do the Chanel is because I can't find it and I don't feel like looking for it. Today, I'm gonna wear Floral Marshmallow by Dossier. This is inspired by Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Y'all, this smells exactly like a marshmallow. Like, I really like this, it's so sweet. Like, if you don't like sweet scents, you're definitely not gonna like like this, but if you like a sweet scent, I want it like a sweet girly scent or I kind of want it something fresh because it's gonna be hot today. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't like to smell like, I don't like super deep, like gourmand smells when it's summertime because I feel like when you start sweating and stuff, it just don't mesh, which is kind of why I wanted to wear my Chanel because that one was really light. But since this is what I have on hand, we're just gonna do her. So yeah, I would love to give a big thank you and a big shout out to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. They were kind enough to send this baby over and a few other scents. Y'all know I love Dossier. I am like a Dossier fan. I have a whole giant Dossier collection. Look at this. All of this is my Dossier perfumes. Like I freaking love Dossier. Dossier is an online based fragrance company that specializes in bringing you guys quality high end luxury dupes for a fair affordable price. I'm telling y'all there is nothing out there like Dossier. Also, all of their perfumes come in a 50 milliliter bottle. I do have a coupon code. I will link it down below in the description box. Shipping doesn't take long at all, y'all. Like, it probably takes the most two weeks. So, you ain't got to wait forever to get your fragrances. Also, if you're not a huge fan of, like, perfumes, Dossier do have oil reed diffusers. I actually have one in my bathroom right now. So, they have oil reed diffusers and they have candles. I've never tried their candles, but I am a huge fan of their oil reed diffusers. I just ordered another one from Dossier. It's the Santal. 33 is supposed to be inspired by the Lalabo Santal 33. I just ordered that one. That should be coming in the mail. I'm going to check the mail today to see if it's in there and hopefully it is because I just can't wait to see what that was going to give. The one that's in my bathroom is the Cherry Blossom by Tom Ford. That's the oil reed diffuser that I have in there. I think on Dossier it's called um, Almond Cherry, something cherry. They do have notes so all the notes come on the bottle like this. So the top notes for this one is marshmallow. That's like the first thing you smell. Um, they also have New Roly, Bergamot, the Middle Notes, Orange, Orange Blossom, Honeysickle, Jasmine, and Oris. And the Base Notes is Amber, Vanilla, and Musk. This is like the girly girl scent. If you want to smell like a snack, baby. 
wear this wear this like literally your man gonna want to eat you alive like girl he gonna want to eat you alive okay but yeah i get a lot of compliments when i wear this and it's floral marshmallow by dosier so get you some grub get you right, some. sorry for the glare for the light back there um i was gonna make me my uh starbucks vanilla chai inspired chai uh, but i think i'm gonna make that later on today so i'm gonna show y'all how to save y'all coins especially if you love a, a good vanilla chai I'm gonna show you how to save your coins and make Starbucks at home, honey. I even have the Starbucks cups, like, don't play with it. But for right now, I'm just going to get me some water and some cranberry juice so I can take that with me. Cause I'm only gonna get a sandwich at, um, what's that place called? McDonald's. We're only gonna get a sandwich from there. When it comes to McDonald's breakfast, they don't play about their time. They don't be playing about their time. They like, don't play with us or you ain't gonna get your food. So yeah, some cranberry juice. I'm gonna take that with me. Y'all also have an ice maker. Let me show y'all my ice maker. Isn't she so freaking cute? Okay, ignore the cup. Like, that's ghetto. <laughs> ignore the cup, but, um, yeah, just ignore that. But, yes, I'm so excited, y'all. I really need my toes done. Like, desperately need my toes. Girl, they look a mess. I'm going to show you guys what they look like before and then we're gonna do the after but honey they look a freaking mess okay so i got my cranberry juice i'm putting it in this cup with a little lid so this is gonna be my drink with my um mcdonald's sandwich and next i just need to get a water and we're gonna be good to go y'all my baby is hungry okay he's kicking me he like mama what is you doing like girl where the food at he like, where the food at? <laughs> he like, forget this vlog. Where is the food, mama? Where is the food? <laughs> my son is not playing. Okay, so I got my water and I got my cranberry juice. And we finna be out. We have comped our gas. I put my hand sanitizer on. And now I'm about to eat. Um, I'm in the McDonald's parking lot. I mean, drive through have y'all tried that what is that that little milkshake it's called the grimace gremlin what the hell is that purple thing called i don't know but it's a little milkshake and i've seen people like drinking it and they've been tweaking like they've been acting like they having a seizure or something like it's some little crazy trend that's going on but um dang everybody want mcdonald's breakfast today i'm trying to feed my baby okay my baby is hungry <laughs> he needs to be fed <laughs> Cause the way he kicking at me, honey, he don't he don't be giving me no no room. You know, he just be like, as soon as I wake up and open my eyes, kick, 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 kick. And I do be hungry too. But alright, let's get the yeah, Grimace. I think that's his name. Have y'all tried to shake? Anyway, give me a second. No. I go and order whenever ready. Um, may I have the sausage make uh sausage mcmuffin with egg um just a sandwich and that's it all right talking muffin that'll come to 470 for you thank you girl why did i order it like that oh. <laughs> girl these people are grouchy today at mcdonald's like dang she she over here mugging me like girl we going to the same place like don't y'all know though okay i have a lot to tell y'all at once like my brain is going crazy okay well let's start with, let's start with this let's start with this girl over here don't y'all know those uh drive through lines where you gotta like merge like the, she over there mugging me because she think i'm finna get in front of her when it really don't even matter because girl we all going to the same spot anyway like you gonna get your food she over here mugging me miss ma'am but anyways, um, yeah, I never ordered my sausage McMuffin like that. Like, why did I say, can I have the sausage egg sandwich with egg? Like, how did I, no, I said, can I have the sausage McMuffin with egg? Like, why did I order it like that? I've never ordered it like that. I've always said, can I have the sausage McMuffin? Girl, I don't know. See what happened when you hungry. Now, girl, how you going? I really want to honk at her. How are you going to get mad at me for almost cutting you and then you not even moving up? Like, I don't know if she being trying to be petty or what, but like when it's time to move up, she not moving up. She like on her phone. 
So how you gonna try to rush to get in front of me and then don't even be paying attention in the line? You see what I'm saying? And girl, how I'm gonna be talking about her and I ain't even got my money yet? Let me get my money. <laughs> Let's just do that. Let me focus on it. Thank you. Thank you. Girl, look at that. See, this is why you need to mind your own business. Cause how the hell? <laughs> I started getting mad at her and my, my freaking money wasn't even ready. Okay, this. Hi. Thank you. You too. Yes. Oh, she must ain't get her food. They must have told her to pull to the front. Or maybe she did, and I just didn't see it. Oh no, she did, she did. Okay, see, like, I need to just mind my business. Like, I'm so worried about her. Like, let me just mind my business. Like, let me just stay in my lane. <laughs> like, dang. Okay, so my nail salon is literally like right around the corner. So I'm going to eat my sandwich in the nail salon parking lot. And yeah, bro. And y'all don't need to see me get down because, honey, I'm finna get down. I'm finna get down and dirty on this sandwich. You feel me? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all my nails, my toes before I go in, and then I'm gonna show y'all my toes after. I don't get my nails done at the nail salon no more. I actually do them myself. Um, so, yeah, I do my nails myself. I just go for my toes. So, anyways, y'all, I see y'all in the nail salon. Hey, you guys. So, your girl's feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Um, Y'all, my favorite part of getting my toes done, let me know if it's just me. My favorite part of getting my toes done is the massage. Like, <laughs> I'd be looking forward to that part right there. The massage is everything for me, especially now being pregnant. But I was sitting next to some really cool ladies. They were um, older ladies. They were so sweet. They see me rubbing my belly and they're like, I bet the baby is enjoying this. I'm like, yes, he is. And then um, the owner, she was like, how many months are you? I was like, oh, I'm five months. And she's like, oh my gosh, you're so small. Everybody's like, you're so small. Like what? She was looking, she kept looking. And I know some people like might get offended by that. Like, cause I know like, you know, pregnant women, we we be a little sensitive you know we be a little in our feelings and you know and so it's just kind of like you never know what to say to a pregnant lady because you're damned if you say she look like she about to pop and then you, you're damned if you say she looks small because then it's like oh my god da, da, da. but for me honey anytime somebody say i don't even look five months or i don't even look pregnant i've been taking that as a compliment thank you because i always tell them Thank God, it's less work I gotta do when he comes out, okay? Like, I do not take, I do not take offense by that at all. Like, I'd rather you tell me, even if they're lying, like, they could be lying and they could be in there thinking in their head, like, this girl look like a freaking water balloon, like, a water buffalo. Like, they could be lying, but honestly, I'd rather, I'd rather not look five months. Like, I'd rather look, like, small, I'd rather have a small belly, like, all of that. Give me all of that. I'd rather have that then feel like i'm about to explode like <laughs> no so it was just funny because i was paying and she was just looking she was looking over the counter and i like was turning to the side like trying to show her she's like yeah you're so small you're so small i'm like thank god thank god okay honey i take that as a compliment baby yes as long as my baby is, you know, exactly where he needs to be, which he is, because I had my anatomy scan uh, last week, and everything was good to go. So as long as he's growing fine and, and, and got the measurements he needs, I don't mind. So the next thing they always be saying after that is like, um, they be like, why did I come out this way? 
I literally went out the long way when I could have just, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, the next thing they always ask me like, oh, is this your first kid? And I'm like, yes, yeah, my first kid. So some people be like, oh, that's probably why you're not really showing as much or why you're still kind of small because this is your first child. Because I think like, if it's your first kid, like you don't really, it takes a while to show. Either way it goes, baby, I do not care, honey. Yes, it's less work for me to do when my baby boy gets out. But yeah, that was very relaxing. It made me like, it made me want to be like, Janelle, you can't slack on getting your toes done. Like you gotta, I usually get my toes done once a month, but like I said, it had been two months since I got them done and girl, <laughs> no ma'am. And I have like a bruise or something on one of my, um, Make sure I'm in part. Yeah, I am. I have a bruise or something on one of my big toes. And I noticed it before I went in. But I don't know how I got it. Like, I don't remember it's like stubbing my, like hitting my toe or anything. And it doesn't hurt. I'll show y'all later. But I even like pointed it out to her. I was like, yeah, I don't know how I got this. And even she was kind of looking at it. But she's like, it should be fine. I'm like, all right. Hell, I don't know. Okay. Woo. Let me go check my mailbox um and then we're gonna go to where are we going after that the dollar store we're going to the dollar store after that girl i really need to do better with checking my mail but um, I need to go to the bank because I need to take out $5. I know y'all like, girl, you going to the bank to take out $5? Yes, because I actually do a cash envelope. I do the cash envelope system now. If you don't know what it is, like, look up um, cash stuffing on YouTube and stuff. Like, I've actually came up with a budget. And I must say, it actually has helped me a lot. And this is something that I plan on doing, especially with me being a single mom. So I have a folder for myself, like personal spending. I have a self-care folder. I have a folder for my baby boy. Um, I have a saving folder. And I must say it has definitely helped me. Like I have already saved um, a good amount of money for my son. So that's why I'm not really buying any, um, I'm not going baby shopping anytime soon because me and my mom are going to do a big giant baby shop together. Like we're gonna pick a whole day and all the money that I saved up, plus her money, my parents' money, <laughs> you know, the money from his grandparents, and um, yeah, plus their money, we're gonna go and we're gonna do a big shop. So I'm holding off on buying stuff, but yeah, I need to go to the bank. I'm saying all this to say, girl, I need to go to the bank to take out the $5 because I gave them tip and cash, and the only cash I had on me was in my personal envelope. And um, yeah, girl, no girl. We need to take that from the self-care envelope, but my self-care envelope is at home. I forgot to bring it with me. So I just have to go to the bank and take out $5 and yeah, yeah, yeah. So I gotta do all that so I don't throw myself off on my budget. But after that, we're going to go to the dollar store because I need to get a jar for my self-care jar so it's not just sitting in a sandwich bag. <laughs> so it's not sitting in a sandwich bag, girl. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Why would I come out? See, this is why I'm not a true vlogger. Because why would I come out without no extra battery? And the thing is, I knew it, but I was like, ah, I should be fine. But girl, if you have a Sony, if you have the Sony ZV-1, you know this battery will run you dry. Like, girl, you use it in a good hour and the battery is, she gone, she gone. So let me save this battery and, um, yeah, I'll catch y'all at the dollar store or the bank. See y'all when I so I finished at the bank. I'm finally at the dollar store. So y'all see this? Like it comes in like little envelopes like this, and then it has like a binder. This is for the cash envelope system, and it has like a little binder. And so you just put like you just stuff whichever amount you want to put. So this category right here is miscellaneous. I think I have two dollars in here because I already spent some of it. So like I'm about to go to the dollar store and get a jar, like a mason jar. So something like that, I, instead of taking it out of my personal spending, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna take it out of miscellaneous. So yeah, I have $2 in here. That should be enough, girl. Y'all know Dollar Tree, $1.25.
<laughs> but I don't know I just feel like it's a good way to like budget myself and keep myself on track because I haven't always had a budget so this is good for me this is good for me I'm you know I'm trying to do better so I got my little miscellaneous little envelope um and then when I go down I mean when I go down then when I go home I track my expenses and stuff you know just a good little thing to keep keep me on track but let's go in here and see what type of mason jars they have and hopefully they got like some cool ones but we're gonna see i'm not gonna decorate my mason jar like you know how people on tiktok they be having like their little self-care jar and it'd be like cute and stuff i'm not doing all that today because for one i only got two dollars in the miscellaneous part so we're gonna decorate her another time but i just need to get it out of the sandwich bag like i need to put it in a jar so we're gonna get the jar today so let's go do that okay y'all this dollar tree stay pet pet 99 but i think the jars are this way last time i was in here they didn't really have that big of a selection Ooh, but this time oh i like the selection they got um put y'all down could be out of breath <laughs> Um, last time I was in here, I was getting a jar for my coins because I'm trying to save my coins. I used to not do that. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be better. <laughs> okay, so they got like this kind of jar. It's like square. And then the jar that I think I'm going to get is this one because it sits like this, like it's slanted. Okay, it don't really look like it. Like, oh, you can sit it any way. And you can sit it up straight. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah, we finna get this one. Let me see without the glasses, because, you know, sometimes the glasses be blind. Yeah, this is real cute. Let me show you guys how it looks, <laughs> um, the way that I've seen it. Oh, y'all, my glasses are broken. I need new glasses. Oh, my God. I'm really sad, because these are, like, my favorite glasses, like, the ghetto anyway this is what the jar looks like and i like that i think that'd be cute like a lot of the self-care jars that i see are like they be like this this is also cute though i'm not gonna lie i do like this but i kind of like the slant it because like when you open it see like do you see the vision and you just go in there and you reach and you grab dang that's a little <laughs> A little tight right here but i like that i think it's cute so which one even though by the time y'all see this i would have already bought the one i want so which one should i get this one or should i get this one but with this one you could also put it up straight see i'm getting this one let's see let's get the one from the back or is this one crusty actually i'll just get this one since i've been touching on it and then they have like this and stuff, but they don't really have, like last time I was in here, they didn't even have this. So, let me get this. I'm sad about my glasses. Like, why would y'all do this? I'm saying why would y'all do this when I'm the one that did it. Like, I can't believe this. This is the ghetto, the ghetto. Anyway, I got my jar, so. Lego, that's all I need in here. But you know, when you get in a dollar store, you just start browsing around. And then you be wanting to buy everything. Let me pass the snack out, honey. Because I will buy me some snacks. All right, I'm going to get out of here before I spend more money than I, than I have to spend in here. <laughs> more than I have budgeted to spend in here. Time to go. Adios. Girl, let me tell y'all. This Every time I go into that dollar store... I'm really pissed about this like it looks freaking a mess but every time I go into that dollar store it's this black older black cashier girl every time I'm in there he always be trying to flirt and he steady be trying to tell myself I'm gonna put my phone number on um on your receipt and I just be sitting there laughing because I'm like sir I'm not even finna make you think that this is about to be anything and you know it ain't finna be anything but honey he when I tell you that's how I want to be like that's how we need to be living life now okay because you know how older folks like they they old you know so they don't be caring like they don't be giving a damn they just gonna say whatever they want to say do whatever they want to do like they're gonna speak their mind because they don't care no more like 
That's how we need to be living our life. This man know dang well. He he ain't got no type of chance. But every time I see him, he gonna shoot his shot like he gonna make it every time. That right there is inspiring. <laughs> but um, I'm about to go to Target because I have to I have to go potty. Um, yeah, and the Target right here, usually their bathrooms are pretty clean, so I like to go to this Target to use the restroom. And then after that, we finna, um, I'm gonna chat to y'all. I gotta give y'all my life update. I feel like I've been talking a lot in this vlog. And every time I edit the edit vlogs, I be like, girl, you talk too much, like. But I mean, it ain't what it is, it ain't what it is. I haven't talked to y'all in a long time, like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I have a lot to say. But um, once I come out of Target, um, like I said, I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's and my, and my Trader Joe's is, a, why am I stuttering? My Trader Joe's is kind of not far from me, but it's like not close to me. So, you know, I got to get on the highway and drive there. So while I'm driving there, I'm going to give y'all the life update and I'm going to give y'all the tea. Okay, because y'all will never believe. Y'all will never believe who I ran into. That's all I'm going to say. So you got to wait until we on our way to Trader Joe's to get the tea. And don't you fast forward, girl. I see you trying to fast forward to get the tea. Be patient now. <laughs> All right, let me go tinkle and then I'll be back with the tea with y'all. But I had to tell y'all that. Listen, let that man be an inspiration to y'all. If you want something, go after it. And if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. But actually, well, when it comes to shooting your shot at people, don't keep trying again. If they deny you the first time, then no is no. But in other aspects of life, you know, if, if, if you fail... You know, dust yourself off and try again, okay? <laughs> okay, it's life update time. I want to do it especially now while I still got some battery. So, my first life update, for those of y'all who don't know, I haven't worked a regular job uh, for about four years now. I think it's been almost five years. It might be five years. I haven't worked a regular job in five years. And like the last job I worked, I was a caregiver. So, um, but yeah, I ended up quitting and it was just a lot of drama with that. Oh my gosh, is there traffic? And a freaking rock just hit my car. Uh, you know what? We're not going to complain, but like, why is there traffic right now? It's Wednesday. Well, it is the day after 4th of July, but still. Anyway, back to what I was saying. See, I haven't worked a regular nine to five job in about four to five years. And I've been able to, the money that I make on my own, like I make money from YouTube. Like I said, I have a second channel. I mean, I have a main channel. Anyways, I have a main channel and I make money from sponsorships. And I have like little side gigs that I do, like little stuff on the side if I want extra, extra money. But I've been able to support myself just doing social media, making money from social media. And I've been doing that for about four to five years, like I said, working for myself. So yeah and that's been perfect because it's just me like I didn't have any kids I didn't have nobody else to take care of all I had to do was just take care of myself so the money that I make is able to support me and my lifestyle but y'all know with me having a little a little child on the way a little baby on the way babies are not cheap okay babies are you know they cost they cost a little coin girl they're gonna cost you a little coin and then on top of that, you know, as most of you guys know, I am a single mom. I'm going to be doing this solo. You know, I'm not, the dad is, um, but yeah, I'm not going to have the help from the dad, you know, so as of now anyway. So I have to do this. This is all on me. So when it comes to the, di the diapers, the pampers, the bottles, all of that is on me, girl. And any extra that I get is like from, you know, my, my mom, my dad, you know, my brothers, like any extra will just come from people who want to help but I'm going to be the sole provider so with that being said I decided to get like a part-time job so I can stack up and save because I started thinking about like I don't really know what my life is gonna look like and I'm not gonna lie it kind of made me a little scared <laughs> like I was a little nervous because it's not like I have a regular job where I can take maternity leave and get paid or you know what I mean like so I just started getting a little nervous so I actually applied and I got a part-time job I'm not gonna say where and it's just crazy because I have this job, but it feels like I don't have a job, y'all. Tell me why I've only worked three days. I got hired on June 14th. It is now July the 5th when I'm making this vlog. 
tell me why I've only worked three days. The first day, actually no girl, I'm lying. I've only worked two days. The first day was training, so I was on a computer. The second day I actually did the real training, so like I was, you know, actually putting the what I learned to motion and i don't i haven't worked since then and like they all know that i'm pregnant they all know that i don't mind you know working the hours but um the next time that i work is next tuesday girl and then i'm not on the schedule at all like it's crazy but they told me that i would get like zero up to zero to like i think 20 hours which is fine with me because like i said it's been a while one it's been a while since i've ever worked a nine to five job so i'm really not complaining like i like i don't really like like honestly I like working for myself like I like working from home so I'm not mad at that and then two I'm pregnant like girl I don't want to be standing on my feet all day like girl no and I kind of got spoiled with like being able to do my own thing and have my own schedule so it's like it's kind of like a love hate because I'm like dang I got this job so I can get extra hours I mean so I can get some extra money and save for my baby boo but at the same time it's like well I'm not really complaining so technically your girl has a job but I feel like I don't have a job because I'm never there like I only worked twice and I got hired on June 14th like that's crazy to me that's wild that's really wild <laughs> so and I have a shift next Tuesday and that's literally it like I'm not on a schedule no more so I'm just like okay like, see y'all when I see y'all y'all better hope I still remember these steps <laughs> now it's a real simple job I remember it but it's just like dang like I know y'all said the hours would be a little slim, but I didn't think it was going to be like this. So I'm I'm not really mad at that because, like I said, I don't need the job. It's just I wanted extra money because I started getting scared. I started thinking about, girl, kids are expensive. Like, I started looking up stuff, and I was just getting a little overwhelmed. And I started freaking out, and I'm like, oh, my God, maybe I need to get a job. Like, <laughs> So, yeah, it's not a necessity right now, but I'm still, like, I'm a little nervous, you know. So, yeah, that's the first life update. This is the first life update. The second and most major life update, y'all. Why did I run into my son's father? Why did I run into my son's father? In the most awkward place of all. I'm not going to say where, but I ran into my child's father. And I know some of y'all who might be new here are probably like, why is that a shocker? Why is that awkward? Why is this even a thing? Well, girl, if you don't know, um, I haven't seen my child's father or talked to my child's father since the day I told him I was pregnant. My camera's overheating, the traffic is doing a lot, so bear with me. But yeah, so like I said, I haven't seen him since the day, I haven't talked to him or seen him since the day that I told him I was pregnant and that I was gonna go forward with the pregnancy, you know? And so, y'all. Yeah. It was funny because I was standing. It's, I was standing in line. I'm not gonna tell y'all everything that we said and did, but um, I was standing in line and I happened to something told me to turn around. So I turn around. I'm like, why does that guy kind of look like my child's father? And I was like, nah, he can't be here. Like, he not in here. I feel like it was really God. I feel like it was really God because. How the hell did we meet at that place at the exact same time on the exact same day? Like, and it was crazy how it lined up because I really could have went to that place. I really didn't have to go to that place in person, but I chose to go to that place in person. So the fact that I went there and he was there and I ran into him, I was just like, God, come on, God, what you, what you got, what you got brewing? What you got up your sleeve? Nah, what's, what's going on? Cause I don't feel like, I don't think anything is a coincidence. Anytime something seems like a coincidence, I'm like, nah, there's a reason why this happened. Like, anyway, I turn around, the guy is leaving out. So then I sit down and um, he comes back in. Y'all, <laughs> we immediately locked eyes. It was the most awkward thing for me because I was like, why? Like, I always thought about this moment and the moment is happening now. So we immediately locked eyes, y'all. He come walking over to me. Honestly, I'm not gonna hold you. I didn't think this man was gonna say anything to me. So he looked at me, we locked eyes. He came over, y'all, he hugged me, which I was just like, oh my God, why is this man hugging me? But he hugged me and then he said something to the um, the front desk people and then he sat down and then he started, he sat by me and he just started talking to me. And mind you, I'm just sitting here like appalled. I'm shocked because I'm like, I didn't think that I would see you here. And then for two, like, I didn't think he was gonna say anything to me like I thought he was just gonna act like I wasn't there but he just started asking me questions like 
um you know how many months am i what's the gender and camera is bugging out okay i just got to trader joe's my camera is overheating she's hot she's done she's tired of the conversation she says sis throw the whole conversation away anyway make a long story short we talked and everything and he just asked me a bunch of stuff and then like <laughs> we started getting on the topic about who we think the baby's gonna look like and i was like i feel like he's gonna look like you and he was like no nah, i feel like the baby's gonna look like you because they say like if the mother hates the dad or something then he'll look like the dad or whoever she hates but he was like you're such a sweet person and you're so kind-hearted i don't think you hate me so i don't think he's gonna look like me and i was just you know at that moment i really don't hate this man because i have learned to forgive him and you know forgiving somebody that kind of did you a little dirty is a hard thing to do so now i'm just kind of like you know healing healing myself you know that quote was like god's rejection is god's protection i feel like that's very like real for my situation when it comes to his to my son's dad because um even though it hurts and it sucks and no mother wants this for their child like of course you want their your child to have both parents and then i recently found out some more information <laughs> which girl about his lifestyle where i was just like oh my god i do not want my son to be around that it's like now i'm 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 at peace with the situation because i'm like god even though this hurts and it sucks and it's not fun like don't nobody want to nobody grows up and be like i'm gonna i want to be a single mom like some people do choose this lifestyle it's like a, a community for that but nobody just really like chooses that so you know but once i looked at the facts and i seen the way his dad was living and just everything that's when i really like the the quote the little saying that god's rejection is sometimes god's protection that really resonated to me so i'm not even really like as hurt pretty much what i'm trying to say is i forgave this man but it was just funny when he said that like you you're so kind and you're so sweet like you don't hate me so i don't think he's gonna look like me that little myth be taking me out <laughs> but i was just thinking in my head like the nerve of you to think i don't hate you like what if i did hit your guts like what if i despised you like how you know I don't hate you? You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't, I don't hate this man at all. But I was just like, how you just gonna assume I don't hate you? Like, what? <laughs> I mean, you're right, I don't, but the nerve of you. Like, I'm a little, I'm a little razzle dazzled, but I don't hurt you. I don't hate you. But yeah, so it was very awkward. Um, yeah, it was very regular conversation. Like, he was just like, yeah, you know, you look good and I'm glad you're doing well. But it is what it is. Like I said, I'm not really tripping over it, but it was definitely very awkward. And then I seen him a second time. He didn't see me, but I seen him. Um, he was coming out of the store and I seen him leaving. And I was actually with my mom and my brothers, but I seen him leaving the store and he, yeah. So that was like the second time I seen him, but he didn't see me that time. I seen him. But yeah, so that's the life update. Everything is going great. My anatomy scam was great. Um, my baby boy is growing well. Everything looks good for him. The doctor said he didn't see anything that alarmed him. Um, everything looked great. So yeah, everything is fine, y'all. Like That's the life update. Your girl got a little part-time job, but <laughs> don't even feel like I have a job because I'm never there. <laughs> and um, I see my child's father. So yeah, anyways, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to Olive Garden with my mom. Oh, she tried to call me. Let me call her back. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna call my mom back because I think we're going to Olive Garden. And then let's go to Trader Joe's, girl. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna have to vlog from my phone because I think my battery died. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Um, also, I'm going to Olive Garden with my family. Um, my dad's gonna treat us to Olive Garden. Um, so my mom and my brothers are supposed to be meeting me up here because actually olive garden olive garden is like right around the corner so um i was like i might as well just stay up here and they could just meet me up here so they're just gonna meet me up here so i'm gonna go in there and shop so i guess i'm not gonna have orange chicken tonight i'll just have orange chicken tomorrow mm -hmm. but that's why i'm here i came here to get orange chicken because i was gonna have that for dinner but change of plans baby it's nothing like a free 99 meal um i was gonna skip out on trader joe's but i was gonna have to come up here and get the orange chicken anyway so i was like i'm gonna just get it now and just eat it another time so we still gonna go on to trader joe's girl i said trader joe's all right let's go
I didn't really get that much. Like I said, I went in there for two things. I didn't go in there for the extra stuff that I got. Um, and we're gonna put it in this Walmart bag. Don't judge me, girl. Don't judge me. Like, how you get Trader stuff from Trader Joe's and you putting it in a Walmart bag? Listen, I'm not a real Trader Joe's girly. I only go in there for like three things. Okay, so the first thing that I got is the Trader Joe's vegetable fried rice. This stuff is so good. And then I got the orange chicken. Let me make sure I got those, the right thing because it was kind of packed in there. Yes, this is the best orange chicken ever. I was actually going to have this for dinner tonight, but change of plans. I'm going to Olive Garden. And y'all know that Olive Garden food be lasting for at least two days. Like, it's so much food. So those two things I actually had to get. Now, these next two things, I did not need to get these. But as y'all seen, I got the Trader Joe's yogurt. So I got the blueberry and I wanted to get some granolas. I forgot to get granolas. I'm not going back in there. <laughs> um, I got the blueberry flavor. I got the strawberry and vanilla flavor. And then I got um, vanilla bean. I don't think I ever had this one. This is the one that I wanted the granolas for. So I might have to stop past Walmart just to get some granolas. But yeah, so I got the vanilla bean, Greek yogurt. And then y'all, the first time I ever went to Trader Joe's, this was like one of the first things I ever bought. And I was like, I didn't even know. That's the thing about Trader Joe's. They be having stuff in there that you didn't even know like was a thing. Like, I didn't even know that they had organic Pop-Tarts. Like, how the hell is a Pop-Tart organic? But let me tell y'all, these Pop-Tarts are the best ever. And I already have Pop-Tarts at home. I already have Pop-Tarts. This guy probably think I'm crazy because he probably think I'm talking to myself like, sir, I got a whole system right here. But these are the best. When I tell you, go to Trader Joe's and get these Pop-Tarts. I like the strawberry ones. They are so good. I never tried the cherry ones. I think they have like a cherry flavor. I'm not a big cherry person. But I like the organic Pop-Tarts better than I do the, um, like the regular Pop-Tarts. And I have regular Pop-Tarts at home, but I just couldn't pass these up. Like every time I go to Trader Joe's, I gotta get these. And I forgot about them. And I'm definitely about to eat one now because I'm hungry. And I think my family is on their way up here. See, so yeah, it only comes with six. But y'all, yeah, I'm finna tear these down, okay? But yeah, that's the end of my Trader Joe's haul. That's all I got. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like I said, my camera is dead. I knew I should have brought an extra battery and I didn't. Shame on me. But, um, yeah. As soon as my family get up here, I'm about to go to Olive Garden. So I will see y'all at Olive Garden and then I'm gonna head home and show y'all how I make my, do I wanna make the chai tea? I really want a chai tea right now, but like literally I have Starbucks at home. Like, you know when your mom be like, we got McDonald's at home or we got this at home and it don't be the same. Like, no, I legit have Starbucks at home. <laughs> so I am not going to buy Starbucks when i have literally i have starbucks at home and i'm gonna show y'all so uh girl where the, girl where the rest of the icing i guess that's supposed to be the organic part this is what it looked like it's so good mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. it's so good well, i got water a little dry but <laughs> it's good so i will see y'all at olive garden <laughs> okay you guys so i'm back home the food was so good like i forgot to vlog my food but i got chicken alfredo in the zupa toscana soup and then i also got some salad y'all it was a lot going on in olive garden today like Something really disturbing happened, but I don't need to like getting into that. But yeah, so this is where my little self-care self-care um notes are in there in a sandwich bag. Um, so now I have the jar, so I'm just gonna put them in this jar. Now for me, I have like writing prompts in here, and they're geared more towards like the morning time. I'm a morning person, so like when I wake up in the morning, I want to grab one just to kind of you know start my day off right because i noticed that i've been as soon as i wake up i would like scroll on my phone and i don't like that so instead of scrolling on my phone i want to wake up you know pull one of these so 
the two that i pulled this morning today was my first day doing it i made these last night like literally just took some paper and wrote on it and folded it up like some people their little self-care jars be looking so cute but i'll decorate it when i feel like it. i just ain't feel like doing all that <laughs> you know so the first one that i pulled was what do i have control of today or control over today so i wrote that down in my journal and then i decided to pull a second one since that was like a writing prompt i wanted like a self-care act that i could do so the second one that i pulled randomly was um it says do your full skincare routine so for me i don't know if y'all do this but like i do like in the morning i'm not gonna lie sometimes i don't always put on my sunscreen for my face sometimes i don't always use my face oil at night i used to always use my gua sha i don't even use that anymore i used to use my jade roller as well i don't even use that so this morning i made sure that i use my my face oil and my sunscreen and then tonight i'm going to make sure that i gua sha so i'm going to use my gua sha i'm going to use my face roller and really do my full skincare routine because i'll be skipping a few steps i'm not gonna lie like some steps i'll be skipping so tonight i'm going to do my full skin my full nighttime skin routine this morning i did my full uh daytime skin routine so just a cute little way to like you know get yourself together the ones that i already did i am actually gonna put in this little sandwich bag because i want new stuff so the rest of these that i haven't done yet i'm gonna go ahead and put it in this jar i'm so excited like i like this little jar plus it like gives me something to look forward to when i wake up like the things i look i love my morning times like first of all when i wake up i'm grateful that i woke up second my my son is always moving in the morning time so i always love i look forward to that because he moves a lot during the night time in like the morning time and then the third thing i'll be looking forward to is taking my prenatal gummies i'm not even gonna lie because those things be good so now this is just another thing that i'm gonna be looking forward to in the morning and this looks so cute look at this oh my gosh i love this so much better look at that cute little self-care jar um, I think I'm going to take a nap really quick and then maybe when I wake up from my nap, I'll show you guys how I make my chai tea. But it is currently 3.51. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of tired. That food took me out. The heat is taking me out. So, yeah, I think I'll see you guys a little bit later. If I don't see y'all for the rest of the day, I will close out the vlog tomorrow by showing you guys how I make my chai tea. So, yeah, I will see y'all in a second. <laughs>